Assalamu alaikum my name is Omesh Masyar you are watching my youtube channel welcome back to my youtube channel we are simulating gain ammonia and in the last video we have simulated the cryogenic depletion of air for the generation of nitrogen uh, for the production of ammonia uh, that is the because nitrogen is the raw material for the ammonia generation so this is the second lecture or you can say the third lecture first was the introduction in this lecture we will perform the hydrolysis for the electrolysis of water for the generation of our hydrogen so let's uh, move first of all for the electrolysis uh, if i go to my this case study uh, i will drag it a little bit down so the hydrolysis of water uh, in the as per high field you have to use a different property package the, uh, the property package that will be using uh, will be the electrolyte anatl and this electrolyte anatl will be uh, we will use uh, from the aspen property because the aspen hyphis doesn't have a built in uh, package that simulates the uh, electrolysis so let's move and see how we will do this so i will go to the property and in the properties i will go to my uh, this component list and here i can uh, from this add i can Select as as per property. So now here I have to specify my components. So my components for the electrolysis will be uh, oxygen. Oh sorry. Uh, first of all, I will add my water. So you now you can see that window like this has been opened. So I will. So now you can see that a window like this has been opened. So I can press this equals to and write as hydrogen. Oh, or you can see it as water. You can see it as water. You can write as add selected components. After this, my second raw material or uh, uh, my final product is hydrogen. So I will press this hydrogen. Fine now. And you can see that hydrogen. So I can press this add selected components. After this, my third. Uh, final product will be, or uh, the third generation product will be oxygen. So I, will, so I will add this component. So now my fourth component will be uh, potassium hydroxide because for the uh, electrolysis you always need the electrolyte. So I will write as KOH. Uh, So now you can see that potassium hydroxide. I will select my component. So I can press this cross. You can write as water. Double click on it. Or you can press this. So now I have added all my components that were required for the electrolysis of water. We have water, hydrogen, oxygen, and potassium hydroxide. This potassium hydroxide will be used as a electrolyte uh, for the in the electrolysis. Go to the fluid package, and here you will press this add. And from as some property, uh, you will select electrolyte NRTL. After the selection of electrolyte NRTL, you will go to the electrolyte visit. From the electrolyte visit, uh, just press uh, this water dissociation, uh, untick this salt formation, and get reactions. And select all these reactions where these reactions already have been selected and press this OK. So now the, uh, we are good to go for our simulation. Just go to the simulation. Now you can see that we are present in our simulation environment. So now uh, I will go to my modify or uh, model palette. And from the model palette, uh, if I drag it down, or you can see I will go to the reactors and in the reactors the last thing you see is the electrolyte so just uh, select this electrolyzer and place it over here and double click on it and here uh, you have to make necessary connections so the feed stream for power you can write as power for anode outlet you can write as A for cathode you can write as C so now, if we see the uh, this block, so you can see uh, you can do the degrees calculation also. 
thickness you need to specify and you need to specify the geometry of electrolyzer in more detailed form so as i am not having uh, the geometry uh, of the electrolyzer in the more detailed form so i will use a simple model uh, for my simulation and in this simple model uh, generally this simple model also uh, only performs the energy and mass balance so i will be simulating single feed stack with simple calculation no thickness module will be calculated in, in this uh, or you can say that no rigorous calculation uh, is not a part for this uh, scope of our simulation so again uh, after this i will go to the parameters so here you have to specify the number of stacks uh, number of cells per stack power consumed per stack uh, heat duty pressure drop or feed uh, feed speed ratio so uh, i can go to my this uh, simple uh, case study so uh, perform a mass balance we have already performed the mass balance so power requirement is 24 300 kilowatt so you can write as power as 24 300 kilowatt after this the second thing is uh, the number of stacks is 12 uh, so the number of stacks are 12 and the uh, number of cells per stack is uh, 300 so i will write as 300 over here after that uh, heat duty we will give uh, we will give the outlet temperature uh, and so no need to specify heat over here so oh, other thing is our feed split ratio you can use uh, this feed split ratio uh, or i can write as 0.75 as a feed split ratio after that pressure drop uh, you can if you want to give uh, i can give the pressure drop as 30 kilo 20 kilo pascal if you want to give you can give or uh, if you do not want to give the pressure drop just don't give the pressure drop over here for the heat i will give, uh, specify the outlet temperature uh, so no need to specify heat over here i will go to the worksheet and here uh, in the worksheet Uh, i will specify the operating temperature pressure and mass flow rate for water so my temperature will be uh, 60 degrees 60 degrees pressure is 600 kilo pascal we double click on it so now you can see that only nitrogen oxygen and argon is present over here so i have done a wrong something wrong so now when i had double click on my mass flow rate so only oxygen nitrogen argon is present so it means that my fluid package is wrong i have selected wrong fluid package uh, in this uh, fluid package of component list and that is the first component list and third first fluid package so i have to select my second fluid package so i will press this feed double click on this feed and drag it a little bit top on the top or uh, so here from the fluid package you will select as fluid package basis 2 again uh, double click on this electrolyzer and see if uh, you, there is a option uh, for the selection of the fluid package so okay now you can see that our fluid package 2 is has been selected so now i will go to my again my worksheet and double click on it now you can see that my correct components and my second fluid package is being selected so now for the uh, flow rate uh, i will go okay, i will again go to my case study and here it is uh, in the molar flow rate uh, it says that mass flow rate is 40000 kg mol per hour so it is wrong you can write here as molar flow rate so it is 40000 kg per hour so you can write here as 40000 kg mol per hour and double click on it for the for the specification of mole fraction and just give as 0.25 over here or oh, sorry 0.75 over here uh, 0. 75 over here and here you can write as 0.25 after this press this okay and uh, after pressing this okay so you have to specify the uh, duty of the outlet temperature so the 
duty of the operator method you can write as 60 so you can see my simulation has been solved so in this way we have performed the electrolysis of water for the generation of hydrogen and oxygen so now you can see that my simulation has been solved i will double click on this uh, on that c or you can see that f4 and we will go to the composition and in the composition uh, if i select the basis to uh, mole flows so you can see that 387 uh, high moles of hydrogen is present and if i go to my simulation mass balance so here uh, approximately uh, that is very near to the mole of hydrogen that was required for the generation of 1000 tons ammonia uh, per day so that is good to go after that uh, what we will be doing we will be doing so now uh, i will save this and now uh, if you want and if you see that if i double click on it uh, in the composition tab and this sodium uh, potassium hydroxide is present so uh, and this water is also present so we want the sodium hydroxide and water uh, to be separated out and for this i will go to again to my model palette and uh, streams and from here i will uh, pick up a separator over here so i will double click on it uh, its inlet will be c its vapor outlet uh, you can write as pure or you can write as only hydrogen for now and its liquid will be your waste stream you can write this uh, so now uh, if i press so it says that it is not solved but so, after, so now you can see that it has been solved so after the convergence of my separation drum uh, i will double click on this hydrogen stream and see uh, in the composition that either i am having any impurities or not and you can see a small amount of water is present uh, this small amount of water is good to go but if you want to remove this amount of water again you will use a uh, some type of a filtration or a molecular sieves but in aspen high uh, you will use a, a separating drum so again uh, oh sorry you will use a component splitter again i will double click on it and inlet stream will be hydrogen its overhead product you can write as your pure hydrogen the pure hydrogen uh, bottom you can write as uh, waste two or any other name so uh, it says that unknown splits go to the parameters here calculated equal temperatures pressure uh, the pressure is, um, I think the pressure is 580 kilopascal. So give us 580 kilopascal of four streams. And, and now you have to give the splits. So in the splits, uh, in the pure hydrogen, you only want the hydrogen to be in it. So for water, you will press zero. And for potassium hydroxide, you will also press a zero. So it says that unknown splits here again give us zero, and you can see that your simulation has been converged. And now this stream is having pure hydrogen in it. So, in this way, you can see that uh, we have simulated our hydrolysis part uh, for the generation of green ammonia, and uh, the pure hydrogen that we are having is 36 and uh, 87. That is very near to the stoichiometric amount of uh, hydrogen that was being calculated for the uh, generation of 1000 tons per day of ammonia. So that's all for, the, uh, for this video. In this video, we have performed the electrolysis of water uh, for the generation of pure hydrogen. And uh, now in the next video, we will use this hydrogen. And in the first video, we have also generated uh, the pure nitrogen uh, from the cryogenic distillation of uh, air to produce
جو اس کا گرین امونیا فار ہائبر واش پروسیس سو اسٹے ٹیون انشاءاللہ میٹ یو ان دا نیکسٹ ویڈیو آئی ہوپ یو لائک دا ویڈیو اللہ